Welcome back everyone. So today's review is XP Boost from Arvon Brewing Company. Double New England style India Pale Ale. From the side of this, it does say 8.2% ABV. Double New England style IPA with Tala Citra and Idaho 7. Um, Idaho 7 I do like. I did make a year ago, maybe it was two years. Uh, some smash beers with Idaho 7 and it's becoming a very good hop and we're starting to see it more in uh, craft beers. Talus. Now I just had another one from Arvon with Talus so I had to look. Talus. I'm guessing that's how you say it. Hops up. Big aromas of pink grapefruit, citrus rind, dried rose, pine resin and that makes sense because that's what I said in what was it? Uh haze but not hazy uh i said that and it didn't have it in the style guidelines but it makes sense now tropical fr fruits and sage i don't want sage in my beer so that is what talus is so let's go ahead and get this open get it into a glass this does not have a date um i said it in the last one and i think a couple other ones all these new arvon beers they're not stamping the date on there um, I wish they would go back to it just so I know how fresh it is. Um, I do look at the bottom usually all the time, but usually right in this corner they stamp the date. So let's go ahead and get into a glass. I did pick this up at Hoffman Street Grocery. Uh, sh the lady had to um, get this out of a uh, four pack, so I'm not sure the cost because what she does is however they ring it up. I think they just take the four pack price, uh, cut it in fours, and that's what I pay for it. But usually she puts it on there as like an Oberon keg. And so, yeah, who knows where the receipt is. Off white, orangish colored head. Uh, Arvon, at least in my opinion, is known for this because I can see this is the first time I've seen this and it looks like dirty water. Like, I shouldn't say dirty water, like an oxidized New England IPA. But that color is coming up a little bit uh, because I do have uh, the other one over there and this has a lot more orange in it. Uh, a little over finger of head, bubbles on the side are compact like dish soap. For the color, again, oxidized burnt orange in color, very, very dark. Uh, you can't... I, in, in dark, what I'm saying is dark orange. Um, you can't see through that thing, but at least for me, I would think this is oxidized. From being a home brewer, making beers, having oxidized IPAs, uh, New England IPAs, that's what mine would look like. But that's it, it's typical Arvon. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know if it's the hops they're using. I don't know if it's a malt. I don't know... Um, what is the name of the malt? I don't want to waste too much time. Uh, yeah, I'll think about it and I'll say it probably in the middle of this. But let's go ahead and smell Marisader. Uh, Marisader is going to be a maltier hop, um, a darker SRM. So I don't know if that's what they're using for most of these and that, you know, that to bring out that sweetness. Uh, but yeah, let's get back to this. Sweeter citrus, uh, almost orangey, uh, tangerine, softer orange uh, smell coming out of there. Uh, I almost want to say grapefruit rind uh, from looking that up. Yeah, it's almost like the meaty part of an orange tangerine uh, smell coming out. Not overly done, but just nice, subtle. Then, yeah, uh, a grapefruit rind bitterness on the back end. Let's go ahead and taste. Um... Resiny, bitter, grapefruit on the back end. A little malt sweetness on the front. Um, I guess you could say a touch of tropical up front, but like third of the palate on back, it is citrus, rind, bitterness, grapefruit. This is how I like my New England IPAs. This might be a little overdone. 
Um, that bitterness, grapefruit, is feels like it keeps amping up as I drink it. Smooth, easy drinking. 8.2. I would think it drinks more like a 7%. Uh, not as thick, but definitely citrus. Um, that Even in the aftertaste, that rind bitterness just stays there. Uh, like a huge dry hop was put in this. And yeah, resiny, rind, grapefruit, citrus is what I would go with on this one. There's still some in here. I'll take another drink. I mean, there's bitterness even up front in that small tropical that I'm getting. Holy cow. XP boost. It should have been like bitter boost. Um, I don't know how they name these beers, why they put XP on there. Because obviously there is an, an experimental hop in here. Huh. Yeah, that, that bitterness does hang around. Perceived bitterness, I would say, is like 75-80 in this one. I like it, though. Uh, it, it feels like there's some citrus, or duh, citrus, um, orange citrus that stands out the most. But that back is like grapefruit. It's almost like a little acidic in there. Uh, but yeah, rind, bitterness all day long stays around. A little sweetness on the outside just to tame it just a tiny bit, but it's still there. Um, I think on this one, I would go 4.25 out of 5. Um, I would cut back on that bitterness a little bit. I could see that uh, being in a New England IPA, but that's that's a little too much, at least for my liking. If you like big bitterness, hey, this could be the one for you. But yeah, 4.25 out of 5. Let's go ahead and check on Tapped and see what they're saying. Like, I feel like I could breathe hops. Uh, two of my friends have had it, uh, 4.5. Uh, almost 160 people have uh, rated it 4.09. Um, no Jinx, 4.25. Uh, big Citrus Pith. Sweet Melon, Nice Bitter Pine Finish. Uh, style Guideline, Citrusy, Bitter, Earthy, Melony, Clean. Hmm. I didn't say anything about melon, um, but bitter, yes. Earthy, I don't get that either. But uh, solid, juicy New England IPA. Um, yeah, definitely one to pick up, especially if you're into hops or bitterness and beers. Uh, I think this one would do it for you. So if you enjoyed this review, check some more out over here. And always remember, try new craft beer.